Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This here, I have an Asus ZenBook 13 inch, or you can say the model is here, which is UX331F. All right, so what I'll be doing is I'll try to disassemble uh, the laptop and show you the step by step, which are the components that is in there. And if you want to do a replacement, um, hopefully this video helps you. Alright, so let's get started. First you need to have a Torque 5 screwdriver. The screws in the back plate, they are all in a Torque. If you need to get the tools, I will link the tools in the description below. And you can probably get it from Amazon or maybe eBay. Um, it's your choice. So there are four screws at the bottom, two screws on both sides, and four screws on the top. The two screws in the middle on the top, the size is a bit longer compared to the rest of other screws. So the two screws on the top here, they are a bit longer, okay, as you can see, compared to the, the rest of other screws. Okay, so once you have that, let's see if there's any hidden screw here. Sometimes they do have hidden screws underneath this, uh, what do you call this, the rubber. So we will find out. Yep, there are screws here. So I'm pretty sure there's another one on this side. So you can get a prying tool, anything to stick it in, just kind of pry it open. Uh, they are just double-sided adhesive tape, nothing really special. And the two screws here are Phillips. So any Phillips screwdriver would do. I don't think there is at the bottom here because it looks quite flat to me. We'll find out once we open up the back case. Alright, so at the bottom here, it doesn't have the screw, only on the top. So once you take it apart, as you can see, this is your entire laptop. Here is your battery. And the model for the battery, let me show it to you. Uh, you can probably look it up here on eBay or Amazon to get a replacement. C41 N. 1715 all right so first thing I'll do is to remove the battery and looks like the battery is the battery is connected to this one Okay, you can remove this little plastic that is taped one to there. And this thing just come right out. They are Phillips screw that holds the battery, so go ahead and remove them. This one here, I believe, is the speaker. And then the, the two more screws on the top here. 
the Phillips screws. Alright, total of four screws that holds on to the battery, two on the top, the third and the fourth on both sides. Alright, so now you can see that the only remaining would be the motherboard, the CPU, the heatsink, and the CPU fan. They're really tiny. And this is your M.2 SSD drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove the M.2 SSD drive. The one on this model here is 512 gigabytes, but for you, if you want to increase to one terabyte, you can just change this one out and get a Windows 10 USB to do your installation for your OS. All right, so this is your CPU fan. Let's go ahead and remove that. First, you need to disconnect the, uh, the, the cable. So to remove the CPU fan, I would remove the heat sink all together all at once. Okay. So if it feels like the CPU, the thermal paste is heating up, you know, you want to have uh, to clean to clean the thermal paste to have a better uh, conduction on your heat. And if you feel like your CPU is overheating, uh, you can come here and clean out the uh, the thermal paste okay so here's the CPU uh, sorry this is your CPU fan um, let me see I guess you can look it up on this one here to purchase the heatsink and this model here to purchase your CPU fan alright so this one is your sc uh, screen the LCD. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. This is your keyboard. You need to flip the clipper so that the ribbon cable would come right out. Same thing for your touchpad. Flip it out. Remove it. I believe this is your keyboard lighting. So do the same thing. Flip the clipper. Remove it. And this is your touch finger for the security login. Okay, so you can remove that as well. Flip the clipper, take it out. And this is your speaker. So go ahead and pull the cable. On the top left here would be your Wi-Fi. So there's a tape that tape onto it. So this is white and this is black. So what I usually do, I'll just make a little marker. And this way I can tell the black goes to the black on the right, the left goes to the left, the on the white cable goes to the left. Okay, so go ahead and disconnect them.
and this one here I believe this is for part of your LCD maybe for the uh, the secure uh, sorry the webcam or the microphone and this is just a cable that connects to the connector what I'm doing is I'm removing the tape so that I can just pull this connector out alright so at this point here we can remove the motherboard but before we do that let's remove the hinge that holds the LCD so two screws on the top right and then one silver screw that holds the motherboard and the hinge okay come back here do the same okay at this point I'll go ahead and push the hinge at about 90 degree same thing for this and this you can remove entirely if it's possible I think yeah but let me remove the motherboard first so there's one screw here on your right there's no screws all around it and there's one screw on your left and at this point your motherboard should just come right out but be very careful since the motherboard is very thin okay um, it's like really crispy thin so just be careful with it okay and if you want to do a motherboard replacement you should look it up on the product number here for your motherboard replacement so the CPU is here later I'll, what I'll be doing is I'll get the uh, alcohol wipes and just wipe it down and apply a new thermal paste on this okay so as you can see the keyboard is one piece together they are not separate so if you want to change your keyboard you would you you would have to change entirely um, of this okay so here's the entire keyboard the touchpad, I believe that is a separate, so you can remove the three screws here, and that way you can just replace the touchpad itself. Okay, and the reason why I flip the screen in 90 degree angle, and this is how you remove the entire LCD screen. Alright, so um, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Until next time, I'll see you again. Take care.